Hello everybody, before we get started, just want to give you yet another quick reminder that I am uploading newer and different videos to my alternate channel, Rogamp2. Uh, I just recently uploaded a video about a Japanese anime, like, porn game. Yeah, it's a little too racy for this channel. You'll have to head on over to youtube.com slash Rogamp2 to see that. So, what we are talking about today is a new rogue called Win. Antivirus Advisor, I believe. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I haven't tested this yet, so let's see if it works, and then we'll try to remove it. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Oh, shit. What's it doing? Okay, so I guess it's running. We're... As you can see, we're using VMware, so it may work, it may not work, I don't know. So it loads up, does that. Okay, so I guess it restarts the first time you run it for some reason. Oh, there's a batch file dropped? What is this? Nice. That's, that's some good programming. Alright, so we're doing some kind of fake scan. Of course, I can't remember the family names of all of these, but as you can see, it's similar to some that came out a year or two ago or something like that. It had a lot of different names. This one's just called Windows Antivirus Advisor. You can change languages. Nice. Give me English, please. Okay. So you've got all these nice threats here, finds 11 of them. When you try to remove all, of course, it tells you you're using the trial version and you need to buy Windows Antivirus Advisor, $99.90, apparently outside USA for some reason. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's see, settings, anything, got some history, a custom scan, all in one suite, so you get like all those tools and stuff. Service manager, auto run, advanced process. So you got a little bit of uh, interesting things here. If you try to enable anything, of course, you're using the trial version. Does it block program execution? Well, oh, what the hell? It blocks like the start menu. Oh shit! Well, it doesn't do. It doesn't let you do much. Let's say that. Run task manager? No, of course not. Can't even run start menu? What is this? Wow. Okay, uh, that was a bit unexpected. What? Attempt to modify registry key entries detected? The fuck are you talking about? Oh, did it run? Yeah, it ran. Oh, oh I can't open Firefox. How about IE? Nope, no IE. Can't get into anything. I want to test something. Yeah, it's extending the video out, but whatever. Can we get to... Oh man, this window just wants to be on top all the time. Get to the media guide. Can we get to some internet? Nope, damn. Damn. Can't get to the internet. That's a shame. Well, that didn't really work. Can we ask? Uh, Technet. Oh, it makes you open a browser. It's not like Windows XP where it just opened in that thing. All right, enough screwing around. So as you can see, Windows Antivirus Advisor is uh, pretty strong here. It's not letting us do very much. It wants to have its window up on top of all the other windows doesn't let you open the start menu it just like automatically closes it i think it's because this window tries to pop up on top of everything so it knocks the start menu back down where the hell is solitaire i don't even remember well screw it screw it i said no more screwing around so 
We're going to go ahead and try to remove this. As you can see, doing it in normal mode is really not feasible. So we're going to boot into safe mode with networking. So let's go ahead and just reset this computer. All right, go to safe mode with networking. All right, this rogue is kind enough to not run in safe mode, so that is appreciated. I'm gonna just go ahead and use Malwarebytes. Free version, save it. English, close that, close that. Accept your license agreement. Uh, uncheck the free trial and click finish. So it'll go ahead and automatically update. We're just going to go ahead and do a threat scan. So just go ahead and click scan now. It'll check for updates once again and I will be back when the scan is complete. All right, our scan has completed and as you can see we have quite a few dropped files and registry uh, value changes. So we'll just go ahead and click Apply Actions, and click Yes to restart your computer. Alright, and it appears that the infection is mostly gone. We still have this batch file, but you can just delete that. No big deal. And we can open Firefox, and we can open Task Manager, so that appears to have worked fairly well. And that will wrap it up for Windows Antivirus Advisor. Thank you all very much for watching, and take care.